In Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Usually when we talk about NASA, we're envisioning a journey beyond the stars. But the space agency also celebrates and researches the planet underneath our feet. And they have some new projects just for planet Earth. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Stop. Go Falcon, go Dragon. Godspeed, Axiom 1. When we think of NASA, we imagine rockets launching or images from faraway galaxies. But the agency doesn't just look at the stars, it also looks down on Earth. NASA studies all the planets, including our home planet of Earth. It's, it's not only does that help us look uh, and understand other planets, the signatures of life, but the, the data that we collect to help us understand vegetation, help us understand storms, help us understand fires. Those data that we collect about our home planet are incredibly valuable in tracking change. Dr. Leslie Ott is an Earth scientist at NASA. She, along with her other colleagues, are working on a fleet of missions, part of the Earth System Observatory, a series of satellites that look to provide critical data on climate change. Those have helped us see uh, lots of changes. We see that the world is getting warmer. We see changes in growing season length. We see changes in ice and sea level. And those long records, those, those satellites that have now been built up over uh, literally decades, that's really helped us understand how the planet operates as this beautiful complex system, but also how that system is changing due to human influences. These satellites track everything on Earth, from wildfires to blizzards and even track climate change here in Metro Detroit. You guys have faced devastating floods over the past few years, so you, you, you remember some of these effects. So we're tracking uh, you know, both the extreme rainfall events, we're tracking the formation of those storms, and very carefully monitoring agriculture so that we can be prepared uh, both as those storms are happening and for the larger and longer term impacts of climate change. And NASA is expanding with a new mission called TEMPO, where a NASA satellite will be in geostationary orbit meaning the satellite is above the equator and follows the Earth's rotation. This mission will help NASA get vital information about air quality quicker than ever before. It's going to give us measurements of air pollutants hourly. Right now, we're, we're lucky if we can get those measurements you know, once a day. So being able to track how air pollution changes during the course of a day with the cycles of things like traffic or sunlight, that's going to be a game changer for air quality managers in terms of understanding and predicting episodes that can be very, very harmful to communities all across our country. And much of that data used by scientists, engineers right here in southeast Michigan, including weather and climate forecasting by us, the local forecasters right here at Local 4. Now, the satellite for, Tempo, for the Tempo mission will launch from the SpaceX rocket later this year, 2022. Once launched, it will join two other air pollution, air pollution monitoring systems, I should say, to create a geo constellation for air quality monitoring across the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. That's Tech Time with me, Andrew Humphrey. Back over to you.